Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Today, we're at the unit. Ooh, pretty bright out there. Today, we're at the unit, but we're with a wagon, with a golf. Gonna put it on the ramp, and we're gonna fit my Novimex springs. So, um, yeah, wagon. I'll put it on the lift, lower it, put springs on it, because I might or might not have some wheels coming for it. So um, let's get cracking. Let's lower this wagon. These, um, let me show you the springs, let me show you the springs. Springs. So here are my springs. They've been here, if you've been watching, this is my, my area of the unit. These springs have been here for months and months and months. Um, so yeah, these had springs. Um, for variant, so they're variant specific springs by H&R, but I like to call them Novimex. Um, but yeah, make sure if you've got a variant, so a wagon or a state, whatever you want to call it, make sure the springs that you're getting are the actual variant specific ones. It's not the normal ones, so you see here it says variant, right? Um, station wagon, make sure you get that. This is the H&R part number for anyone interested. Um, because what you don't want, and what I've seen happen is, some people end up with the just golfer hatch springs, and yeah, that it just cuts. So right, these ones are 25 mil, I think lowering, whereas the um, other ones for the hatch are like 30 or 35. Regardless of that, obviously the weights um, and the spring rates are different, so make sure you get the variant ones. Anyway, let's unbox them. Okay. TUV or TUV, the TUV, TUV, so let's have a look, TUV, TUV, we've got a, uh, okay we've got a resident um, check over here correcting me with a TUV, 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 oh I got new, hey look, sick, so you even get some uh, H&R branded, these are Gucci um, bump stops. That's cool. I'll, I'll compare them to the bump stops that are on there. See what if they're bigger or smaller. I would have guessed they're smaller to allow a bit more. So springs. Uh, 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 nice. So these. Are made in Germany. F for front, that's cool. So, that's the front and the two rears. These are nicely put together. Box. They've come nicely wrapped, these. Better wrapped than, I uh, see, see, rear there. Uh, Better wrap than the Hurricane ones I received. And also way bigger than the Hurricanes we I did before for uh, for the Regal boys. Anyway. Yeah, the other ones. Nice. Uh, see if we get any more goodies in the box. No, that's it. I'll tell you that. I'm going to keep the box so I can put the stock springs back in so when the wagon sells if i sell it if i put it back to stock i got everything anyway so let's fit these to the wagon Yes, so cast on the ramp. Take the weather strip out. This 
a clip that goes here. Slide that out so you can access it. Top of the top mount. Take the wheels off, as you can hear. Take the wheels off, so you can access top mount. And once we get in there, undo that. So you can release the bottom of the top mount, drop the shock, take springs out, and uh, bolt it back up. At least that is the plan. Um, and the rear is a little bit different. Um, the wrist is just in a perch, so just take that out, take the spring out, put the spring back in. Um, yeah, so let's get cracking. While we're here, we're just gonna brush this off with this wire brush quick. Give it a quick clean. While you're there, you might as well. Don't know why it's so orange and rusty, but gonna pop out grease on there to lubricate that shit. There we go. So shit now. Yeah, so um, I gotta go, because I've got a baby shower to go to. But the car is done-ish, half done. We've done the rears, uh, big thanks to Milan for giving me a hand. However, the fronts now even look even higher compared to the rear, even though still the rear needs to settle a little bit. Um, so we're gonna do the fronts probably tomorrow or the day after. Um, yeah, it was a bit of an asshole getting the springs out of the cups, but those hench spring compressors just made light work of it. Um, anyway, gonna go and I'll see you guys tomorrow or in a couple of days or whenever it is that we do the fronts. Oh. Yes, it's going on day two, so car's just back on the ramp. We're about to take the wheels off and do the front. Um, the rear set up really nice actually, um, so it, I, I quite like how it sits. Um, it's only 25 mil lower, seems a little bit more, but 25 mil is fine. So we won't have any issues where I'm struggling up and down the ramps of my uh, car park at home or anything like that. Um, it's still going to be totally usable. Speed bumps and all of that. I do live in London and some million speed bumps, the pyramid ones and the big long ones and the little sleeping policeman type of vibes. Anyway, it's up there. Um, so like I said yesterday, go we'll see weather strip out, take the clips out from the rain tray, get to the top, top mount wheel soft, bite from the bottom, whole shock out, um, use uh, the sick spring compressors, hold it in, boom, bish, bash, bosh. Um, so I think this can be done by anyone, anywhere. Spring compressors are really kind of a must, especially for the rear. Um, I've done plenty of all-in-one without spring compressors, just gunning it off, uh, it's not safe, you shouldn't do that. Um, or you should do that, it's fine, just make sure there's nothing in the way. But yeah. I'm gonna do that now, finish it off, and look forward to seeing how it sits, because it's always, always sat a little bit too high. And I always thought whenever I go and do a, like an Ikea run or whatever, and how it sits, I really like that. So that's how it sits now. It looks like I've got a full boot. I just ran a Instagram poll saying half lowered or full boot, and everybody went full boot, but actually empty boot. It's just half lowered. Um, so rear half sat really nice front sits really quite high so um, I hope it doesn't sit like leaning back so we'll fit it we'll let it sit see how it goes if need be I think Powerflex do a top I know they do it for like the Mark 5 maybe even Mark 4 I think I looked at it for when I had the TT where it just brings it's the top mounts and it just brings it down by like 10 mil so that might that might be a go if the front still sits a bit too high compared to the rear, but anyway, let's have a look.
Yes, the cast down just off the ramp now. I'm gonna put these clips in. Um, they go there and there anyway. So I'm gonna put that weather strip back on and um, yeah. I don't know if it's me, if it probably doesn't look any lower, but because it's on the handbrake and whatever, I'm moving forward to where that is. I'm gonna wash it because it's disgusting. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's only 25 mil, but. It always sat a little bit too high, so hopefully this will bring it down enough. Let's just give it a little m bit of a meaner look. Um, yeah, cool. Pumped. I'll show you guys in a second how it looks. Cars now clean. Really needed a wash, really needed a wash. And I've only driven it from there to here, so it's not really settled. Um, but even then, it does look a little bit lower. So, big fan of how the car's starting to look. Just a great one of a quick wash and fitting some lower springs to my wagon. H&R 25 mil variant specific springs, not the normal ones for the hatch because the car won't sit right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.